Hi, my name is Naushad and welcome to learn MVC video. This is our fifth video to learn MVC. Uh, in the previous lecture, in the previous video, we have completed a view data and we built the passing data action to view. But in this video, we have completed temp data and session. Uh, we remember that the view data and view we are using to uh, handling a data and passing a data to action to view. But temp data and session we are using to passing a data action to action. So now let's start the practical. So it's very easy to understand. Just create one temp data here. Temp data and just pass the name my data. Just pass the data date. Now here the redirect to action and I need to call the action about and just the control name is home. You can see here the control name is home. I'm just going to the about or CSS page. Uh, first I'm going to the my home page and just copy the full line here. Sorry, just copy and just paste here. And also I need to add one line more for the temp data. Uh, temp data will just pass at the rate. Okay, now just save and run the application. Let's see. The break point is already there. Now do the step over here and just check. The view data is also available, view deck is also available. Just select the temp data, right click and print to source. The temp data is also available. Now just do the step over again. I redirect to the action about and just see here view bag and view data is going to the null. But temp data is still available. Now just click on continue. You can see the on the view of the about page. View data is null, view bag is null, but temp data is still available. Right? Now <coughs> I'm just go to the URL and just enter again. This is my one request is completed. I am making to the second request. Just enter. And see the temp data is going to the null because this is the second request. Temp data is a holding data only for a one request, not a for a multiple request. Just see the continue. See, temp data is null, view bag is null, and video data is also null. If you want to holding a data for a multiple request, then you need to be use your old friend session. Okay, now just close the application. Here, I'm just creating one session. Session syntax is same like you're using ASP.NET web form. Session name is my data. I just pass the data. System data. Okay, now just going to the about page and just enter one line here for the view data in the view page. Now just save and run. Uh, sorry, I just stop and run again. Okay, now the do the step over here. Now the three data is available, view bag, view data and temp data. You can see the session here, head watch and also you can do the temp source. You can see the all data is available here, right? Now I'm just going to the step over process and I'll just jump to the about and you can see View data and view bag is going to be null, but temp data still available and session is available. Temp data available because this is our first request. You can see temp data and session. Now again, I am making the second request, and you can see here, temp data is going to be null, but still session data is available. See, session data is available, still your browser is not going to be closed. Okay, so now. Here you can see the there is a different different way to passing the data from action to view, action to action, and for the multiple request. Mostly developer are using a session for the handling the data, but I suggest you you can use as per the requirement of your application. Suppose your requirement to the 
handling a data extent to view you can use a view data don't use a session if you want to require for single request you can use a m data don't use a session but if you want to use a, if you want to handling a data with a multiple request you can use a session i hope you have a clear view data view back dem data and session if you have any doubts please feel free the mail me i will definitely help you my email id is available on my channel if you like my video you can share the video and you can subscribe the my channel also thank you very much for the watching this video